Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. I'm back in the studio. Welcome, everyone. I'm really, really thrilled you're all here with me today. Um, I'm back just to do a our usual hashtag stack your stash. I've been choosing to do these over other videos for right now because we can get so much done and you can decorate ephemera and, you know, you all know how to make journals. And if you don't, you know... I have lots and lots of videos to show you how to do things. So anyway, today we're going to do another Stack Your Stash. I have, let's see, one, two, three different, maybe four different styles of things you can, bases. You can stack your stash and we can also decorate. So I don't remember if from our last one what I showed you and what I didn't. So I'll, because it's been a long time since I've done a video. I've been trying to get well. I'm not there yet, but. Uh, when I have energy, I decided to try to do a video. Uh, I do, I've do. i been crafting here and there, but not a lot. So I don't remember. Did we do these in our last? Um, they're just plain right now. But when you look at them on the back, this pulls out and we have an envelope here. I mean, a pocket. I think you guys, I think I did do these with you. I don't remember. I do have a video for this. So I just didn't remember how far I got. Like this one's just to pull out, but no extra pocket. This one's up, got a pocket here, right? Um, oops, that was that one. This one's just a really sheer, cool paper. Cause I finished all these. I think I didn't have these all done on a uh, video last time. So, you know, they're all, these are going into my stash to be used in journals. Uh, and this one is just a little pocket. I just put a pocket on the back of this one. So this was part of a stack your stash that we did uh, not long ago. So I am just going to pull these off and put them in the box. Now we are accumulating a few things and I've been using some of my pieces already believe it or not because I am creating as you know for different things so this is the box we have started um and I know we're getting we probably have 100 pieces already so we've got all kinds of goodies that we've already done so I'm gonna pull those off to the side and get that out of the way then um your friend here lost something let me see if I can find it. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe I can find it. Maybe not. Give me one second. I had it on my desk, but I've been so busy, honestly, um, working on our new shop. So things are everywhere. All right. So in our last one, we did these beautiful little writing, um, tags and I made one in a tag form and this one was made out of scrapbooking paper I will tell you when I went to put it together I put it on upside down so I had to put a new piece on the back and then I covered up the front because I didn't want you to see so this is using three pieces of different scrapbook paper and a book page so I went like this and then I went like this and this and this, and it is cut in a tag shape like I was telling you I was going to do. So isn't that pretty? And I've added my laces and my pearls, my bling, all the goodies, words, all the fun stuff. After I did that, then I sat and stamped and stamped and stamped and I stamped um, that whole bag full of stuff because I was getting too many things and I was able to do an entire, this was empty. So this whole thing is full to the top and brimming out. So I have plenty of stuff to use because all of these are from the stamps. So I was able to use the stamp pieces. So these are for a project I'm working on. So they're going to go in an envelope, right? So hopefully I don't lose them like I just did about 10 seconds ago, right? <laughs> you know, oh well, what can I say? Then these are, uh, remember I didn't have them finished last time. So now these all have paper inside. We had stacked the stash, but they didn't have their paper. So now they all have writing space, right? And they can be glued on or covered on the back and decorated. So these are bases. Now I do need to start filling bases, but I don't know what journals or what, I'm, what projects I'm gonna do. So 
I think I ended up with, let's see, those two that are finished. So we had three, four, five, six. I think I did eight of them. So that was fine. I don't need to have a hundred. If you want to do a hundred of each thing, you can. You can do 20. You can do five. You can do two. Uh, whatever you want to do. So let me check my time. Okay. I got started a little bit later than I wanted. We were having trouble dialing in my camera today. It just didn't want to dial in correctly. And I have my, I'm filming with my new, two new circle lights up there. Um, ring lights, circle lights, whatever you want to call them. So it is a very, very dark, rainy day, pouring rain in California. Uh, it's Tuesday. You should see this, hopefully, if we get everything up correctly. We don't have any more snafus. It'll be Wednesday. So I have a bunch of Stack Your Stashes today. One of which I did uh, at Christmas time. That's part of, I think, Mixed Monday, Merry Monday, and some other things. And that is, we did the, um, oh, paper clip. Little mini paper clips that you put things in. And um, pocketed paper clip. And I'm going to see... Most everything I did during that time went into video, uh, went into journals to be sold. So I don't know. I'm looking. I meant to do this before. I apologize. This is not going to be a fabulous video because I haven't made a video in two weeks. Going on three. So I apologize. I, I just, you know, have been very, very ill and uh, feeling a bit better. But not 100%. So, you know. I don't know that I'll ever be 100% again, but we'll, we'll see. I was just looking to see if I had in my boxes any of those cute little paper clips that we made for journals. And I think I put them in all my journals. I do. I think I I used them all. Oh, I'm, I'm proud of me. You know, that's what we want, right? But um, I thought, well, I should have... I didn't want to, oh wait, I think I see some, yeah, yes, 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 let me see, I'm looking, oh, oh gosh, I've got paper clips galore, well, if you remember, we did, I just have nowhere to put anything, we're, we're prepping our store, I've been busy sitting in and making kits and bundles and stuff for the store so we did this where we took one of the little journal cards and we folded it over and folded it in half and we made a little paper clip and sometimes we left it open at the top or the side uh, but we're going to do something like that along this lines and I know I did some of these I just sold them all so we're going to do this today with envelopes and it's a great way to do it super quick you can make a hundred and like nothing flat so I'll show you how you do it this is these are kind of together but they're not decorated yet so we're going to start with an envelope. I'm using some coffee dyed ones. I only had a few, I only had a couple coffee dyes left in my stash. I need to get some more from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Well, I have some, but some of them I need for some other projects, so I couldn't use them all. But the ones that are like this, I don't like the color. So I close these up because you're never going to see them open. So I don't care what the color is in the middle. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to close it up. Let it dry for a split second. I'm going to do a couple different sizes. So this one I just open. I use the uh, zippy tag and these tags, you know, to close up my envelopes. Okay, so we have all different sizes. You can make your pocket paper, paper clips. We're going to do double pockets, double pocket paper clips and um, out of different things and different sizes. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold this over. Now, what you do on this side is going to determine what you get over here, right? So I want to fold it over, not quite a third, under a third. And then I want to put this over. And I want to leave a space so I could decorate or do whatever I want to do. I'm definitely going to need a bone folder here. Because once you coffee dye an envelope, oh my goodness... I want us to carry coffee dyed envelopes, but I don't like doing them. Jolene doesn't mind doing them, so hopefully we'll get her to do it. <laughs> so we'll all have a stash of coffee dyed envelopes, right? For those of us who don't want to do it, we're too lazy. Um, I think I'll use a, I think I'll use a gold one here. 
And you always want to use, see there's a shorter end and a longer end. You want this on the outside so it'll grab your page and you want the shorter one on the inside because there's nothing you really need to grab at the envelope, right? So we're gonna, that one's got it. So these all have their paper clips already. I did different sizes. This one we're going to, now you could, you could do it up here, you could do it down here. If you don't wanna see, take a chance of seeing the top of this envelope, it might be good to just flip it over and just fold it and then fold it. But you wanna leave, however much space you leave over here is what you get to decorate. So I'm gonna do this. So they're all gonna be kind of a different width. They don't all have to, well, that actually came out pretty close to the other one, ha ha. So this one, I'm gonna put a, this one's copper, isn't that pretty? Because who knows, right? And then the big one, which I did here, you're gonna fold, oh, I'm gonna fold it over like this. You're gonna fold it over. And we're gonna put it right about, I think there. Make sure it's even though I'm not being particularly. Now I've seen a number, a number of, of gals do these, uh, probably three different ones. So I don't know who was the first to do it. So I'm not gonna mention anyone because I don't know who did it first and I don't wanna, you know, take away from the wrong person. And I wanna make sure I didn't get this any wider than a page. This is a big one, you know, I will say. So I'm gonna put that little short end inside and a long end on the outside. Now, I, as you know, I've done this before. You've seen me do this many times if you've been with me a while, if you're new. I, you don't want this paper clip to move around, right? So, but I'm gonna pull some of these up a little bit because I might wanna put a charm on them. So I want just enough that I could get a ring up there, just a little bit. Not so much that it's annoying, but maybe not on this, maybe not on the silver one. I don't like the silver ones as much. I think I'll push those down. But the ones that have pretty tops, like whatever up there, I think I'll leave. So to keep them from moving around, get out your masking tape. You can use paper tape. You can use clear packing tape, uh, whatever you want. And this is A, to keep it from moving. But B, as I've said in many videos when I've done these before, you're just going to do this to keep from catching it on anything that you put into your... I, I kind of made a mess right there. Okay, no one can really see it because I'm using the masking tape and it's a light color. I don't get it too close to the top because we are going to, this is a pocket for me. I always like to have that little pocket there. So we're just doing this. Okay, so here we go. We're mask making right now. Let's go, we're stacking that stash. I don't want to say mass made because I feel like that belongs to Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. I don't want to take away anything from Tina's channel. So for, we are Stack Your Stash and that is my little thing here. And it's Stack Your Stash, not Stack You Stash. I My husband made an error and I didn't catch it and we had Stack You Stash. So everybody started doing that. It's like, no, no, that's wrong. It's Stack Your Stash. That is the hashtag. So if you want to... Do a video or you're making stuff and you want it to be seen, put it under hashtag stack your stash. Don't change it up in any way if you want to be, you know, with, with all the rest of these things. So I can go look. I haven't had a chance. I apologize if any of you are doing it and I haven't looked yet, but I will. I will get there. Okay. So first we folded, then we put our paper clip on, and now we are doing our... Um, tape. Now the next thing is our glue, and we're only going to glue on the bottom right now. We will close this up later. I could go this way, I really like it. We don't wanna close the top. We're gonna to close just a little bit of this, but you'll see in just a minute, we're not there yet, okay. I'm actually kind of liking one going that way maybe. Oh, no, that's all right. So all we wanna do right now is we just wanna close this little pocket right there put that down because we're going to want to decorate and the only way you can slide stuff in there so just this one little I have noticed lately that my art glitter glue doesn't like coffee dyed paper and someone else was having the same issue several two other people had the same issue on their channel wondering why their coffee dyed paper is not sticking down with their art glitter glue or their Barely Arts glue. I think it has something to do with the acidity in the coffee. Um, 
I got that going on the wrong one, don't I? Let me do that again. Wait. I'm out of practice, guys. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Hey, give me a minute. I promise the video will get much better in a second. All right, so we're just folding down one. We want to leave this flap up so we can decorate. Just the bottom. And this way also, if we want to do any uh, inking or gluing or any, anything else, we, can, we have it open. So we just want to close that bottom. So we want to remember this is going to be a closed pocket, right? Because what will happen is we're going to close it here and here, and we're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here, okay? So did we get the glue to stick? Yes, we did. Okay. Mm, this one has a, let's see. Again, glue with me. You guys can turn your video off and go get yourself. These are just Dollar Tree envelopes or coffee dyed. They can be lined or unlined. I stopped buying the security envelopes because I don't like them for crafting. You know, I really don't. So I quit, I, I quit buying the uh, Dollar Tree. I don't recommend this for used envelopes, but if that's all you've got, you can. You're just going to have to cover a lot. That's totally up to you. If you don't mind covering things 100%, go ahead. Okay, whatever works for you. If that's all you got, that's all you got. You know I'm a big use it and reuse it person. Use, reuse, repurpose, reuse and repurpose. And when you burnish down something that's been glued, it helps your paper adhere the, to the glue. It gets it down into the pores of the glue. Okay, so now we have three, four, five, six, right off the bat. Two seconds, we have six ready to go. Now we can decorate or not, it's up to us. I do, excuse me, didn't do my hair today. Um, we can decorate, now white, I'm thinking, well, you know, white's not my favorite. I do wish these were coffee dyed, but they're not, so I will absolutely definitely have to ink these up, because I'm an inker, and I want it to be vintage. You know, everything I do is vintage, either shabby or vintage. I'm going to do the back, too, because you will see it a little bit when you're putting it on and off something, and I am going to do the inside a bit, which I could have done earlier if I wanted, just because you're gonna kind of see that when you're putting things in and out, so it doesn't hurt to do that. So if you're an inker, do that. If not, finish doing what you're doing. We'll catch up with each other in a minute. It only takes a few seconds to ink. It's not that big a deal. It's not a half hour project, you know. I don't think anybody needs that instant gratification where they can't wait a second for me to ink, right? Okay. Some of these I might ink as I go along. I don't know, like this one, but I think it's fine. I don't think I need to really do a lot because it's already coffee dyed. Oops, I forgot this one. I missed one. How are you guys? Are you good? Everybody healthy? Hopefully you're doing better than me and you're all better. You're all good. Those of you who are sick are better. It's after the holidays. I think things are, hopefully, things are calming down for all of you. I haven't seen you in a while, Dawn. I hope you're okay. Diana, I know you're better. Your back is better. Yay, Betty. I think you and your hubby are better, so that's all good. All right. Okay, so now, this one, you could take some washi tape or a stamp to get rid of the white on your... Oh, dear. I got this on Amazon many moons ago. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It's getting old. I've had it quite a, a month, so I don't know if I'm in the camera. I hope not. Let's have my head in a headband today. Not looking gorgeous. Not looking gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to and this is going to give me a base, right? So you can get out your washi tapes and cover if you want. I'm going to wrap it around the back because, you know, that's the back. We're not going to see it. It's going to be up against your whatever journal page you have.
I didn't really pull out stuff to decorate with because this is more about um, making your base, but you know, it's kind of fun to decorate at least one piece. Let me see if I have what I want. There is a paper I like to use to, to cover things. Lacy, you know, I like the lacy papers. Uh, well, this is Lace Doily. This is a jewel design. March of 2023, so this is actually a really good one. Good job, Jolene. I don't know what these are from hers, I guess, I think. This is a good one. Yeah, this is Jolene's a jewel design. So if you need some lace doilies and lace, you know, lace, lace stuff, you can find it in her shop. Oh, we have colors too. Let's see, which is this mine or hers? Lace ruffles, textured, nope, jewel design too. Okay, that's my daughter's shop, our shop. That's a digital shop, but we're going to be opening a dot com store. Basically, it's hers, but you know, it's ours. <laughs> it's ours because I'm working with, I'll be selling my things in there and I'm helping to stock, stock it as well. So, um, oh, I got something sticky on my scissors. Yuck. Okay. I'm going to just get rid of these little edges here real quick. Hmm, where I got a dull spot in my scissors or it's got a sticky on it. I can't tell. What are you guys up to? What have we been doing? Huh. Other than trying to, other than resting a lot. And then I sit quite a bit. My daughter and I are prepping for the store. We spend a lot of hours on the phone doing the logistics of the thing. Cause you know, there's a lot of paperwork when you open a shop, even in online, it's going to be a dot com. That's going to be hosted by Shopify. I think I said that right. Um, so it's going to be a dot com on Shopify. So, and it's going to be real easy for you guys to shop there. We're really working hard to make sure that there are easy to easy to maneuver. So if I can maneuver it, we're doing okay, right? Because I'm not very sh savvy. And I hate it when I go to a shop and they're very difficult to find things. So we'll see. We're working hard at trying to. She's doing the technical of that because, you know, that's not my thing. You guys know that. I mean, I've told you a million times, I have no technical capabilities. So... We're working on that, and then we're I just want to figure out what to rip off here. And then I am making little bundles of things like I'll give you an idea, I won't tell you exactly, but charms, bull pins, things like that things you can use, uh, vintage things as well as new things, but all supplies for your scrapbooking needs, right? We want you to be able to scrapbook and get them easily. Oh, gosh, where do I want the lace? I hate to cut off that lace. Bummer. All right, well, you got to do what you got to do, right? All right? Okay, do it. Um, so there'll be bags, and um, for projects that we do, there will be file folders. We'll have bundles so you can get mixed things. So I think it's going to be fun. There will be vintage things um, as well as antique things. So it's going to be everything that we like to work with you know all the things that we all love to make our journals out of and we hope they're all going to be reasonably priced we're going to try to do that so make sure they're not too high but competitive with everybody else so i'm going to pull this out to the edge because you don't need to see what's underneath there right we just need to see that oh that's pretty huh so um, you get the idea, you know. So anyway, that's what I've been doing is just sitting and creating bundles of this and bundles of that and packaging them because I don't have to think real hard. Those are things I do in my sleep because I've owned a number of um, my own businesses, you know. So let me just find, oh, what can I decorate this with quickly because I need to move on because I've got other projects to show you. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do... How's the lighting? Let me know, guys. Um, I'm hoping this is good. There aren't too many shadows. It's not too crazy bad. I don't have the big overhead lights on because it's not that dark, but I can put them on if you guys feel like, eh, it's still too dark. Let me know. Hmm. Okay. Usually, this is a very stiff lace, and I can usually do my glue, but I have a feeling I might have to fabric this. Let me try again. This is coffee dye lace, I think, or vintage. I don't know which, but anyway. Anyway. 
I probably should have turned on my glue gun today. Yeah, glue gun would be better for this type of work. Definitely better. Um. Oh, I've got some different laces here. We can use. Oh my gosh! I don't think I actually have room to plug in my glue gun now with all these uh, uh, these lights I have. Ooh, I'm not sure I have room to plug in my glue gun now. Oh, because I have so many lights and things plugged in. Ay yeah yeah. What am I gonna do? Ooh, these are hot. These lights get hot. I'm gonna have to talk to my husband about that. Um, oh boy, they get really hot. Okay, we need a different, we need a different bar. Huh. I need to get us a light bar. I'm going to have him get me a light bar. These are red hot. I might have to turn these lights off, guys. These, this is hot, hot, hot. Keep an eye on it. I don't need a fire in my room with me in it while we're doing a video, right? Where are we at? 26. Oh, we at 26. Oh, good. We're, we still got a half hour. Okay. that on. I don't know if that's going to overload the system or not. We'll see. Keep an eye on it. Okay. I did want to decorate at least one up for you, you know, before we go on. And so you get an idea. Now you could put anything on here. You On these, you could put a flower, you can put a bird, you know, mushrooms, of picture, you know, you could put, oh, we could put one of our ladies on here. This is a really big one. She would be pretty on there. See, so they're, they're paper clips, which they're great in a journal. Um, let me grab one. Oh my goodness. Okay. So when you have a journal, you got a page, right? You're going to go like this on your page, and then you're going to put something, you know, underneath it. And if you have a big one, you know, that makes a whole page decoration, and you put a tag under that. Oh, my gosh, what a beautiful page it will make. So these paper clips are going to be just totally fabulous in here. I'm going to pull out my rack here because I know I'm going to keep crafting after, right? Um, oh, yeah, it's hot already. Let me see if I can... A little like not disorganized but I'm a little um shaky like not shaky what's the word I want to say a little off a little little off with not doing this I've kind of lost my um oh rhythm that's it I've lost my rhythm that's it that's it not my mojo my rhythm my rhythm's off you know you you get you get used to doing your 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 journals and and making them on camera and then all of a sudden you're you don't do them and then you go to do them again and you're like ooh, this feels really odd i can't quite get my rhythm going probably how dancers feel when they don't dance for a while i don't know i mean i was a dancer and yes i did feel that way if i didn't do it for a while i am gonna glue this right here because i want to make sure it doesn't undo itself One thing I like about this glue gun, it's hot in seconds. It's it's just an awesome little glue gun. It doesn't have the super duper fine tip, but it does have very, very hot glue. So you do have to be careful. If you burn yourself, you're gonna get you're gonna get a blister, period. There's no if and or buts about it. Isn't that pretty? So I will decorate them up this way. Oh, excuse my nose. It is just running all over the place. It's cold today and oh, it's making me crazy. Not that that takes a whole lot, but. And then I think I would like a pretty little bow up there. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. 
I could use Fabri-Tac or I can use the glue gun. I don't think I need all that goobers. I don't need the goobers. I'm gonna have to clean this baby when I'm done. I, like I said, I don't like this one little, I'm tempted to break this off down here. Ugh. Now, if you take a um, dry wipe, usually you can grab all your strings off and it, it'll, it'll disconnect them from the glue gun. So isn't that sweet? Now, at this point, we want to, we do want to, yeah, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some surgery to this baby. I'm closing the end, but not all the way because I want um, the top to stay open so we have a pocket. But I want the bottom closed. So we wanna leave this open so we can put a card in here, right? We wanna be able to put a card in there and we wanna be able to put something there, right? So just be careful when you're, I don't usually like to close these things up with a glue gun. I could see why I prefer my, um, what is, when this is not on, I'm going to break this little piece off that's over here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm not happy with it. Okay, so open, open. That's all we're going to do with all of these, right? So there you have it. I may put some other stuff on here, but I just want to give you a little, and like this one would be beautiful all done up in lace and paper so when I'm off camera I'm going to decorate a few and leave a few undone so um just so you guys get an idea I don't want to go and use up all of our time so the coffee dyed ones are beautiful done similar I have to figure out what I want to put on those so let me get a some kind of clip here and let's let's um let's clip these so I'm not chasing them all over my desk let me move these out of the way and not poke myself if I can help it. All right, let me get this off my desk. Okay, let's move on to, I don't know if I need this or not. Let me move this. I'm going to put some things away, okay, because I'm getting too much on my desk and I can't, don't have room to work. I can't put everything away, but I can put a few things or move them up anyway. There we go. And then I'm going to move this back where it was. I'm actually going to turn that off for now, unless I think I'm going to use it because I don't want to overheat this. These lights are taking too much heat. I got to have my husband get a light bar. Okay. Another one that I think we can use if you have a lot of scrapbook paper, this is a good one for you. You take a full 12 by 12 and you cut it in four four and four so let me let me grab a piece oh i was like let me see this is really thick heavy cardstock very very heavy cardstock so scrapbook cardstock so if you have a piece like this you're going to cut it in thirds right so you're going to go down four inches cut go down four inches cut so it's going to give you three strips for your little pocket. This is gonna be a journal page pocket. You can use double-sided. I just had single side, so that's what we're gonna use. We're going to put it in here and we're going to score it at five and 10. So five and 10, but this is going to go on the back. We're going to close this, put a little notch and we're gonna have a pocket here. This can be writing space or you can add pockets to it. It's totally up to you as to what you want to do. I noticed this is crooked. And I did this on my um, on my cutter, so I'm shocked that it's crooked. Like I lined it all up, but uh, who knows? Who knows, right? I'm just gonna get this over here and clean it up. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. It just didn't line up well, and I, you know, there we go. So one thing you can do with this, which I like to do, 
is I like to go quarter inch, quarter inch. These are all the quarter inch punch. You can do a half inch if that's your thing. Okay. And let me get my... Oh. Boy, my arms are short. Uh, let's go this way. Okay. So if you're going to ink, this is a good time to do it. Yeah, you can see a lot of lines in here. I had to play a little bit to figure out what my um, oh folds were going to be, right? So this is, you have it, and it's cool. You open it up. You can put it on a page. You can wrap it around your page if you would like, and then put a little thing here and glue it on, or you can just use it as a tuck. I, I like these as free-floating tucks. Let's see. Here are, here we go. So, um, again, we're going to go, this is actually longer than 12 inches, this little scrapbook paper. I do not know why it is. It is going to be five. Now, whatever you want on your front flap is where you're going to put your five. So, you're going to go five. And you're going to go 10. And I did a terrible job on that. And five. Now, it can be shorter so that you see some of this pocket. It can come right to it or it can go over. It's totally up to you as to what you want to do. Okay? So, and then it's just a matter of decorating this. Closing this up, which I'll do on the ones we've already done. This is super fun because you can just make tons and tons of these. You can put people on them, pictures, whatever your genre is, right? So just keep in mind, anything I do, you can do. So we've already, let's say, we've cut our three strips of every paper we like. We have put it at ten, at 5 and 10 for our scores. And along the long edge. And we go like this. Is this one done? This one's done. Okay, so those are all done. So again, this is building your stash. These are bases. I like this paper. It's very neutral. This one's rosy, which I do love. You know, I love roses, and you're going to see a lot of roses. You haven't seen roses from me in a while. Last year, I don't know how many roses I did, but I used to do everything rose, rose, rose. Rose and ladies. There is something stuck to my watch. Gosh. So let's get this. Now, one thing you could do, once you close this and you've glued it, you can decide, I don't like this sharp edge over here. So if, burnish it down real good, because that'll help take the bulk out. You can go ahead and do this corner as well, which I will do because that's gonna be glued down. So that matches your cover. So I think that's really a great way to do it. Yeah, here's this one's done already. So let's do this one. Then we'll glue them down. And they are gonna be ready to go. They're going into my stash. I'm super excited about it. Okay. So first thing you do is do all your edges. Duh. Go here, do this edge. You can cut these off by using, now, if you don't have a trimmer, find something that has a cute little corner, lay it down on your square edge. Say this is your square edge. Take a pencil, draw around it, and cut off that corner, okay? So you don't have to have a corner rounder to, to do this. You do not need a corner rounder. I recommend them, they're fun. Best thing I ever bought. You just open it up, you push it against the back wall down deep in, not too deep so that you clog it, but, and you go like that, okay? That's that easy. And then I wanna get this corner. I think when you do that, it gives it that more custom look, you know, when you, and it's not just such a hard straight edge, like you just folded a piece of paper and said, okay, here you go. I think putting around a corner, whether you cut it by hand with your scissors or you trace around it, 
or you get a corner rounder of some kind. My first corner rounder came from Creative Memories. I didn't really even know what to do with it at the time. So I was such a newbie to that whole scrapbooking genre. I became a dealer and still and didn't really know what I was doing, which was dumb because no one wanted to do it in my area. It was like a waste of my time and money. I still have my kit. I really need to get rid of it. Although I use a lot of the bits and pieces of it. So um, that's not so bad. All right. So you have one, two, three, and four. I'm just going to keep the four for now. Okay. Now the next thing you would do is take your glue. Well, actually, I lied. The next thing you would do is you're going to ink before you before you glue it down. If you're inking, do it. Otherwise, just take a break for a minute. Get a drink of water while I do this. I'm not going anywhere. You could fast forward to the next step if you want. Although you never know what's going to come out of my mouth while you're getting your drink of water. So leave the sound up so you can hear what I'm doing. All right. There we go. This doesn't need a ton of inking. It's very vintage looking paper. I love this paper. It's the most beautiful paper pad you've ever seen. I don't think I kept it out or I would show you guys. Uh, it's a dress my craft paper pad, but oh, it's a stunning paper pad. Just, but super thick. Boy, these are great. These would, this is a good standalone. Now you could add pockets here. You could put a, put a glue in paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not glue in paper. Um, put in a little journal, a notebook. Whatever you want to do. That, these are just a base that you can do all kinds of fun things with. This has a bit of a shine on it. Some people would probably take it and um, rough it up a little bit with an emery board or put gesso on it. I'm not one of those people, but there are people that like it that way, and that's fine. Whatever your creativity leads you to. Excuse me. Boy, my daughter and I have been together. We spent one night on the phone, one day on the phone. I think it was Sunday afternoon or Saturday. One of the days for like three hours working out the kinks to the business. Who's going to do what and how? Then she comes over to see what I have in mind because sometimes she doesn't, we're not on the same page. So then when she visually sees what I want to do, she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Brings me things or trading products back and forth shipping supplies I give her boxes and because she's going to handle the shipping and the logistics of that I'm going to be selling custom-made stuff from me journals and whatever I'm just checking my inking here okay if I missed it I can catch it on the next round right um so yeah we've been busy 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 I got requests to please do the international, like, Italian and French book page uh, packs, which I can do some smaller packs. I can't do big ones like Rachel at Roxy Creations does, but you'll be able to get those from the U.S. instead of having to get... Although, really, Rachel will always have the best of everything, so... But I'll have a few things, so... For those of you who don't want to get stuff clear from Italy, I'll have a few things. And then we're going to be thrift store and antique shopping so that we can offer you the best of things that maybe you can't find in your area. So, okay, we have a little stack of those. Yay, those are ready to go. I don't think you need me to decorate one. Do you need me to decorate one? I should do just one, right? So you can see, they don't go like that, they go like that. So you could see what you do with it. Um, How much time do I have left? Because I have one more I want to show you. Well, I have two more. Nope, I won't decorate. Okay, I got one more. Let me show you, well, two more, let me show you. Nope, one more. I'm gonna have to wait for the other one for you. One of those, um, I'm going to have to do a the page inserts later. Uh, those are very complicated. So, oh, I did two with just, uh, if you don't have scrapbook paper, I just did a double-sided um, digital paper, right? I just did double-sided digital paper to make these. But I really had a tough time figuring out where I wanted my folds to go. So I think I ended up at... Okay, so you want to score at four and a half, and then you want to score again at around um, let me see four and a half and nine and a half. 
uh, to get, if you want to use just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper to get your, your pockets to go with those other two. I was like, I know I did more than that. I know I did. I thought I had, I'm like, oh, that seems a little low for me. So I wanted to see how it would work with just any kind of double-sided um, digital papers or single-sided if you don't mind the white or the cream. Depends on the paper you do it on. So yeah, I did do some this way as well. And I'll show you these all decorated up, the ones I do decorate. So, and then again, you know, we would round all the corners and yada, yada. Okay, so I don't want to waste time on that. I'm going to put those with the other ones and I'll go back and finish those. And the ones I finish, I'll show you in the next video, okay? All right. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you something. Oh. I don't know if we're going to get to the other one. I don't know. Let me see. 45 minutes. I got 15 minutes. I might be able to. Let me see if I can find a bulb pen. Here I have a little bulb pen. Because you can put that on there. Isn't that cute? And you can add a little charm. Let me see if I have a little charm. I don't know if I have anything I can just pull out and put on there. Yeah, we're going to be selling charms. So you'll be able to... You'll be able to get some charms to put on your things. I have some some pretty rose gold Tibetan charms that are pretty. Um, so yeah, you, you have a little charm there on your paper clip. There, see, gorgeous. All right, oh, tired already, guys. Okay, let me get some water real quick. My mouth is dry. This next one you can use scrapbook paper or digital paper. These are all scrapbook, thin, single-sided scrapbook paper, any shape and size you want. And what you're going to do is, uh, this is, I think these are just um, four by, yeah, four by, I think these are four by 12. No, four by 10 and 11 and 11 and a half. I don't know why they're not 12. I think it's just the way I was cutting them. I don't know. They were scraps. They're scraps. So what I did was I made these darling pockets. These are so cute. You have a pocket here, a pocket here. And then when you close this up, this becomes another pocket, right? Hello, come on. Here. So you have one, two, three, and we decorate them up. And they are another um, pocket insert. So more things to put in your journal. You could glue them down if you want on this side because this is all glued down. I don't have that open all the way. You could leave it open and make it a pocket on that side too. So as you can see, I did them in all different. Is this a tall one? Yep, this is a tall one. Goes this way, Let's see, and then up here, right? And this one is going, here's your pocket over here. So you're gonna go here here and here so it's a triple pocket this one this one is going standing up so it's going to go here and here and then up here so it just depends on what you do with your papers now this is this is um digital paper here this one's digital this is digital that's digital these are scrapbook right nope that's digital these are scrapbook here so i did scrapbook and digital pages right kind of in the genre that I like to work in. So, I mean, you could put her picture right there, add some lace and some bling, and you have a really pretty little, um, and then you have, you know, still have all your pockets and everything. So you can decorate with whatever you like. So let me show you how I did this. Simple enough, pick out, do you want your pocket up here or do you want it going this way? Now this kind of lends itself to an up and a down. This one pretty much lends itself to going this way, right? And you want to use a doily. No, I thought I pulled out doilies. Did I pull out doilies? Of course not. I used them all because I was playing and I was having so much fun. Now, you can use a little tiny doily or like a four-inch doily or five-inch doily, whatever you like, to do this. Let me see what I have here. This is a, I think this is a, what is this considered? Four and a quarter. We're going to be carrying doilies too, by the way. So you'll be able to get doilies from us as well. All kinds of fun things. I don't want to give too much away because I have competition out there, as you know. <laughs> we want to be unique enough to you. 
So the first thing you're gonna do is figure out, this is gonna be open, so on this end is gonna be our pocket. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in half, but we wanna line up all of the edges. And then I want it to be over here. So I'm gonna flip it up here and I'm gonna bring it up so that we have a double lacy edge there. Come up as high as you would like yours to be and it's going to go in this corner on that fold. So first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna do a quick, just a little, to get rid of any white edges because I didn't do a good job cutting or folding, I'm not sure which. Okay. Now this is how many inches long? Ooh, this is six inches long. That's too long. That's not gonna fit in a journal. Hmm. Six inches. Well, I could do it as a standalone. Maybe I'll do it as a standalone. But that just, just seems long, right? I think five inches is probably all I need. I'm gonna take off a little bit. There we go, not so bad. Because I couldn't decide if it was gonna stand up or lay down. There we go, that's better. That's a fun scrap to play with. All right, now uh, you'll notice that on the, some of these I did round the corners. I'm gonna wanna round all the corners. I don't like my corners unrounded. I might have to re-glue. Sometimes if you do that, you have to re-glue and re-ink, you know, or if you haven't inked. So there's that. All right, so now we have it open like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this. There. And there. It's all closed. And then we're gonna take this, we're gonna open it back up. And this little shorty end here, this tiny little end down here, we're gonna put some glue in there and we're gonna go around the edges lightly. Don't over glue it because it'll, sometimes it'll mark these. I don't know why. Any kind of glue sometimes marks it. Fold it back up like that, fold it up like this. Then you're gonna take this long edge here, this tiny little edge, and you're going to put just a little bit of glue on here because we wanna close this up to make it a pocket, right? But we don't wanna lose the pocket by putting too much glue there. So now this should still be open and this should still be open. We, we doubled this up so it's it's good. Now on this back side, you're gonna slide it in there. See, like that, all right? Now, to keep this from falling out, you could leave it like this and just put the tiniest amount of glue on the edge and so that you have a pocket back here. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually gonna just kind of fill that with some glue back there. And I'm going to go around the edge. Oh, I'm gonna close it up. Oops, I didn't get that in there tight enough. Yeah, all right, glitter glue. Okay, get it on there good in the corner. Then glue it down to the best of your ability. It may not fit flush, I don't know, we'll see. So now we have this pocket, this pocket, and we have one right there. You could take and punch this if you wanna make sure that when it goes in your journal, you know that this is your where the pocket is right here I am going to take and I am going to round my corners I just think it gives it such a polished look when you do that I'm not going to round this one because I don't want to damage the doily I'm using her just because she's easy for me to grab. I'm in the middle. I started and I had to stop because I had to help my daughter, but um, I was organizing all of my, my cabinet cards. And um, so I need to put them in a book so I can have them right in front of me instead of having like a bucket of different images. I want to put them in there by style, like wedding or big hats or, you know, 1920s, whatever. Okay. So that's what we have, and all we have to do is decorate those. So, so far I have two, four, six, here's seven. This is how you do the tall one. You're gonna do it the same way. You're gonna close up your two sides here. So let's do that.
These are going to be really pretty in journals or any project, folios, whatever you're making, right? Whatever you're going to do. So easy. Look how quick and easy these are. Okay, let me... Now, because this is going to be a stand-up one, I'm going to just do the corners at the top. And I'm going to do a little thumb notch. And I'm going to have to put a something up in that corner, right? So the question is, do I have a doily? Oh, I think we're at time. Let me look. Yeah, we're just about there. Um, let me look. I have, uh, oopsie. <laughs> I have um, vintage coffee dye doilies. And I want a good size one. Is that? Probably big enough. I don't want one that's quite so. I kind of hoard these big time. My friend Emily did them for me. This is custom order. Oh. Okay. And you know, you can't really coffee dye right now. And she lives in the Northwest, so for her to coffee dye right now would be difficult. Although she would try. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. Um, let's see. We need this to match exactly. Do your best to make it line up if you can. They don't really do that great, but do what you can. Okay, and then remember, we're going to fold it in half, and then we're going to bring it up ever so slightly. Oh, these are coffee dye. They smell so good. Yummy, yummy. And it's going to go back there like that. Isn't that pretty? And then you decorate this whole thing up. Gorgeous. I can't wait to share them with you guys when I get them all decorated. I just can't do them on a stack your stash. I don't really have time to do a lot of decorating if we want to get through the stash. So I wish I had time to show you the next one. I have one more, but I just don't have time. We're running out of time. It'll be in our next stack your stash, or it'll go on as a page filler because it actually is kind of a page filler thing. So there is a chance. It takes up a whole page, but it's a stack your stash. So um, okay, so we close that, and then we want to go right down the side, like that, right? Close it up carefully. You don't want to completely close your pocket, and you want this one to be closed. This one right here, so I needed to add a little glue. I didn't get any glue up there. Because you only want this one, and this one, and this one, so you want, you know... I'm holding it for a minute because it, this glue, it's cold. It, stand up. I mean it now. Let's not be so rude. No napping on the job. Okay, so there we go. Let's go like this. Oh, Stephanie, sweetie, thank you so much. I love it. It's the cutest book ever. You're such a sweetheart. You always know what I need, stuff like that. I started reading it. I haven't got very far because I've been really busy, but I have my days. I can't wait to read it all the way. It's cute, cute, cute. Happy mail. I got a happy mail from Stephanie Reed. She sent me something sweet. A book to read to cheer me up. She could hear I was kind of down. I don't know that I was down, guys. I think I was just sick and didn't realize how sick I was. So I thought I was I was discouraged, but I don't think I was. I really think I was just flat out sick and didn't, didn't recognize it as being ill. My energy levels had gone way down with being ill. Yeah, I didn't like that, so I cut that off like it just wasn't cutting it. Anytime you, something just doesn't look right, cut it off. <laughs> like I did with that other piece. I had the piece upside down and I just put a new piece on it. Luckily, I still had paper, but I would have put something different if I didn't. I was so thankful I still had scrapbook paper left. Whew, I got lucky there. Oh, I got a new paper pad, you guys. I don't know if I have time to share with you. Okay, so this goes on here. I'm just going to kind of push it into the corner as tight as I can. And while it's in that corner, I don't even want to take it off because sometimes when you take it off, it won't go back on right. So you just do your glue. There. Like I said, you can leave it to where you can make that a pocket in the back. But this is this can be just put in your this little triple pocket here. or double, Yeah, triple because you've got um, still one, two, and then the third one is up at the top. Three is up here. 
I didn't close it. Scrapbook paper is so incredibly thin. I love it because it's a Theodosa square uh, that I think comes from Hobby Lobby, but anywhere, or one of the others, Michael's. So you have your pocket there. So there you have it, you guys. We have all those. And we have, we made three different styles today to stack your stash. I hope you like that and you will give it a good try. To make some of these things. I've got so many things for my stash. Now, even if you just do six of everything, unless you're going to make six of the same journals, six of the same thing, but if you're really a big time journal maker, then yeah, go 10, 12, 14, 20, whatever works for you. So before I sign off, I want to share one new thing I got as a humongous paper pad. I found it by mistake. Well, not by mistake. I was looking for something else. Look at this. Oh, it's another Theodosa, but oh, you guys, look at the papers. Are these not right up my alley? Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful, right? Got it on Amazon. Theodosa Squares. I had to wait a little bit to get it. And I paid more than this, but with shit, without having to pay shipping, I actually paid less than if I bought it in the store. Plus, I didn't have to have any gas. So anyway... That's what I got. I'm super excited. Ugh, fun, fun, fun. I need some new background papers is what I needed. I have a lot of digitals, but about once a year, I buy new scrapbook paper pads of some kind. Uh, like the big ones, and once a year, and then once a year, I'll do some Prima or something like that, or Samperia. So, well, thank you for watching, you guys. I love you all. I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.